So you want to save time and you're thinking of dabbling in the world of AI to do it. Whether you want to produce more content, reach a wider audience, or really just free up more of your time, AI is the secret weapon. So I'm going to show you 12 AI editing tricks so that by the end of this video, you will be gaining back 80% of your time. I produce a ton of short videos, long form YouTube videos like this one, and even podcast episodes every single week. And I would not be able to get as much done as I do if I wasn't relying on AI to help me in some areas. So if there is anyone who knows how to speed up your workflow with help from the robots, it is I. We're gonna start off with how to plan your content effectively using AI to help you cut down time in post-production. And then I'm gonna walk you through eight common editing tasks that you can use AI for. I'll also show you the best software that I found that integrates all of these so that you aren't hopping from tool to tool. I've left chapter markers along the bottom here so you can skip to what interests you the most. But before we get started, let me know in the comments what your biggest time suck is in post-production. Mine is definitely getting studio quality audio in my very not soundproof apartment. But I'm gonna show you what I do to make my audio sound like this. So let me know what your biggest time suck is and maybe I'll have an AI tool to recommend. Now let's head over to the desk and get started. So when it comes to editing and post-production, this might sound surprising, but making your post-production process easier actually comes down to how you plan your content. So before you even hit record, AI can help you generate a polished script in minutes. Tools like ChatGPT and Jasper can be used to create your video outline, script, or even brainstorm topic ideas. I literally used ChatGPT to help structure this script. I wrote down everything that I wanted to say and cover, and AI helped me put it into a nice flow that made sense. This helps massively to reduce the hours that I spend on editing because my content is already polished and structured. Now, maybe you don't want a full-blown script. AI tools like Google Gemini and Notion AI integrate seamlessly with your Google Docs or your Notion account and can help you outline your content more efficiently. They can suggest better structures, help with flow, and even recommend sections that you might have missed. By having a well-organized outline, your content will be easier to record off the cuff which is going to result in fewer cuts and edits during post-production. Some AI tools can generate shot lists and basic storyboards for your video. By planning out visuals and key shots, you're gonna have a clear roadmap of what you need to film. So this prevents the need for any extra filming or adjusting during post-production. Try putting your script into an AI chatbot like Meta AI, which is totally free, and say, build me a shot list for my filming day. Pretty cool, right? But you know what? Sometimes you do forget to record things and you need to add it in post. So stick around because I'm gonna show you a revolutionary tool for this. Okay, so once you've planned your content effectively and you've recorded it, trying to fix messy audio in post is a huge time suck. You can literally be up all night just working on tweaking audio. When it comes down to having high quality audio, this actually starts before you even record, but that doesn't mean that you can always avoid it. For the rest of this video, we're going to look at the software Riverside.fm. So this is a platform made for high quality content creation, and it has some crazy revolutionary AI tools. They even have an AI team dedicated to keeping up with AI, studying how it can be used in content creation, and then implementing it into the product. So this is what my audio sounded like originally. I went and I uploaded that audio file to Riverside using the upload button, and then I downloaded the magic audio file. And now my video sounds like this. You would literally never know that I live on a busy street with absolutely no soundproofing. Now let's talk about one of the most frustrating parts of editing, eliminating echo. Have you ever been editing, let's say a podcast episode or a conversation of some sort, and you can hear echo from one track in the background of the other track? Fixing this is notoriously difficult, and it comes down to staying up all night, watching really advanced audio editing tutorials. But now, you can just upload that messy audio track to Riverside, and then you would go into the editor and use this magic mute button. This is gonna mute any part of the track where that person isn't speaking. And now, you have a clean audio file to bring back into your post-production workflow. You know those times when you've recorded content of some sort, maybe it's like a reel or a podcast episode, and you try to go a bit off script and speak off the cuff? That's where all those filler words come out, like um and ah and like. 
removing these is going to allow your content to sound more confident and make it sound like you have more authority on the subject. So you would just upload that video or audio track to Riverside, and in the editor, you would use this remove filler words button. And that's going to take out all of the filler words from your file and leave you with a snappy, value-packed piece of content that's ready for posting. Have you ever been editing something, like maybe a webinar or presentation, and there are a bunch of silences? With the shortest tension span of humans these days, silences need to be removed from content to keep the content snappy. But sometimes you do want to keep a little bit of the silence to keep that authenticity. So instead of manually cutting out as much or as little silence as you want, try the Remove Silences tool in the Riverside Editor. Here you can use this slider to take out as much or as little silence as you want. And it'll even tell you what each setting is best for. Like how reels should be much snappier and fast paced. Whereas a podcast episode may need more of a balanced sound. This is all pretty cool, right? Just think about how much time you're going to be gaining back by using these AI editing tricks. And if you're all about saving time and getting ahead in content creation, then give this video a thumbs up to let me know that you're with me and hit that subscribe button so we can hang out every week. Now, speaking of saving time, let's talk about video editing. This is where you can gain back some serious hours. Let's start with what, in my opinion, is one of the most mind-blowing AI tools yet. We've all been there, you're editing, and you realize you forgot to say something important. Rather than setting up all your gear again just to record that one line, have you heard of AI voice cloning? Tools like Riverside's AI voice allow you to generate text to speech in your own voice. You simply type in the script for what you forgot to say, and then AI will generate a version that sounds just like you. Like, how cool is this? I just generated my own voice with AI. Do you think it sounds like me? Let me know in the comments. It is a total game changer if you're trying to avoid unnecessary re-recording and you want to keep the flow of your content consistent. If you're creating longer videos like a webinar or a podcast episode, finding those perfect highlight moments can take forever but it's essential to create them in order to promote your content. So AI tools like Riverside's Magic Clips feature can automatically identify key moments for you. This tool analyzes your content and suggests clips that are perfect for social media based on topics and lengths that you get to choose. You can then export these snippets as shorts or as reels. The best part is that you don't have to scrub through hours of footage manually. Captions are huge for pulling your viewer along and keeping them engaged, especially in short form content where people might watch your video on mute. Instead of manually typing out captions, AI tools like Riverside can generate captions automatically. And not only that, but they can actually format them for you. So think like bold fonts or brand colors or highlighting specific words to make your content even more engaging. This not only saves time, but also helps with accessibility and SEO, which is key for getting your content to rank higher and go farther. All right, we've made it to number 12. This is another one of the coolest AI innovations, transcription-based editing. You can literally edit your video by editing text. So tools like Riverside offer this feature where the AI transcribes your entire video. If you want to remove an entire section, you would just highlight the text and delete it. It's an insanely intuitive way to edit, especially if you're working with long recordings. And you can use this search tool to navigate through your recordings, which makes finding specific parts to edit way faster. Have you been convinced to switch over to the AI side yet? Or are you still clinging to your 2 a.m. editing marathons like a badge of honor? I will link Riverside for you to try out in the description. Your future well-rested self will thank you. Now, this video might leave you wondering, will AI eventually take over video editing jobs? Well, I have got a whole video on that topic and I'm gonna leave it here for you if you're interested in watching that next. But I will also leave a whole playlist of videos here about AI tips and techniques in content creation. And all of these videos are designed to help you work smarter, not harder. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you wanna hang out again, I'll be here every single week. So make sure to hit subscribe and stick around so we can learn this crazy world of AI together. My name is Bridget O'Rourke and I'll see you in the next video.